What's going on, everybody? You guys know who it is. It's your boy, The Dragon here. And today, I'm going to be giving you guys the best controller settings for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And basically, I'm going to show you how to use these settings and how to actually abuse aim assist in this game. Mouse and keyboard fam, I know you're going to hate me for this, but we're reaching out to everybody this year. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So basically, what you want to do is you want to come down here to your controller settings and these are the controller settings I use. What I usually go off of is who's the number one uh, controller player out there. And in my opinion, it's Diaz Biffle, okay? Controller settings are a little bit different than mouse and keyboard settings. Controller settings, you can copy someone else's uh, controller settings and do fairly decent with it. And basically Diaz Biffle is one of the masters of abusing aim assist. And I basically just use his controller settings and that seems to work the best for me. And I'm able to abuse aim assist just as easily. So basically in here we have, uh, you can play with flipped if you want, but my horizontal and my vertical sensitivity is six. Um, ADS sensitivity is one. Now I couldn't start out like right away when I was on controller with a one ADS sensitivity. I was at a 0.85. So for you guys, if one is feeling too fast, you don't get a lot of aim assist, try 0.85. This will help you out a lot and it will really make your aim just that much stickier in my opinion. Um, controller sensitivity multiplier, I have all of these at default and all of this is just uh, standard. Um, aim down side behaviors hold. I have automatic tax sprint on. Um, if I wanted an ADS or walk quietly, I can crouch or move side to side. I just have automatic tax sprint on. Uh, you don't get that much tax sprint in this game anyway. So um, there's that. Equipment behavior is hold. Uh, weapon mount behavior is double tap ADS to mount. Um, I have my interact reload uh, behavior on prioritize a reload. And I have my armor plates on apply all. Now the advanced setting is where you really want to get into. So my target aim assist is on, my aim assist type is on default. I don't use any of these other ones. Default is just as sticky, it's just a strong, okay? Now a lot of people go wrong with this. Uh, in your advanced controller settings, put on your aim response curve type, put it to dynamic. That's gonna make your aim assist feel even more and it's gonna have you shooting beans and have really good recoil control. This is where a lot of uh, people screw up. They usually keep this on standard or linear. You want this on dynamic for Call of Duty. I'm gonna make that clear. Dynamic for Call of Duty. Um, ADS transition time is instant for controller and um, custom sensitivity presume. I don't use any of that. Uh, inputs for your dead zone. So I usually use a 6.6, six, okay? Um, I'm using my uh, scuff Vantage right here. I don't get stick drift with this controller after having it for two years. Um, the one of the best scuffs ever made. <clears throat> but basically, the higher you, if you're getting stick drift, you want uh, your right stick to go up higher until you don't get stick drift. Okay, that's the main um, thing. And this left stick max and this right stick max, basically, this has to do with how far your controller, like the outer edge of your controller, when you're using your controller. Um, that pretty much has to do with that. So leave this at nine, 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 right? Okay, and left tr left trigger and right trigger, um, you want these at zero, okay? And if you want, you can actually turn your left stick uh, input down to zero, okay, uh, if you want. But for the sake of this video, I keep it at six, six. That's what I like, okay? Um, tactical sprint behavior, auto move forward, I have off. This is just the settings right here. You guys can copy that if you want. Um, partial automatic ground mantle off. Uh, slide behavior and dive behavior standard, uh, plunge on the water movement, uh, sprinting opens a door bash, yes, ADS, uh, stick swap, no. Um, <clears throat> so that that's basically it. Uh, and we're gonna hop into a match. I have depleted uh, ammo, weapon switch off, and then uh, click C4. Um, I, I haven't messed with that, but I guess you want it on. Um, those all C4 before detonating, yeah, you want this on. Okay, um, so that is pretty much it. Um, camera initial position as uh, vehicles, ping will delay, moderate, moderate. So that's it. So we're gonna hop into a custom match here and I'm gonna go through and explain to you how aim assist works and how to actually abuse it, okay? So I'll see you guys in the game. All right, guys, so we're in a game here. I'm in bots, but basically with um, controller, all you wanna do is, See how I'm getting aim assist here? As long as you're moving, as long as you're moving your left stick, you're gonna get aim assist, okay? So basically, how do you abuse this? And in this game, it's really sticky. So in order to abuse this, I'm not gonna miss. 
every time I ADS, I'm not going to miss, okay? So basically, what you're going to want to do is always use your left stick to get aim assist. Always be moving with your left stick. Even if you're holding an angle. See right there? My aim assist kicked in. I'm just going to hold this angle right here. Hopefully a bot runs across. My aim assist is sticking in. Just very little input from my right stick. And aim assist just kicks in. Aim assist just kicks in. So basically all you want to do is go in, shoot bots, and practice moving back and forth like this. Always be moving like this, right? And you can have a little right stick input too. And that's just to manipulate it. You're going to move your right stick ever so slightly once you come into target. You're not going to be going like this. You're not going to be going super crazy. You're not going to be going up, going back and forth. Let's see if we can find a bot here. Yeah, over here. You're not going to be going back and forth like this. But see how I can just stop right on to a target? That's basically what you want to do. So when it comes to playing um, Modern Warfare 2, you could beam anybody at any range. It doesn't matter. Um, I just got hit from somewhere. Oh, he's upstairs. Um, so basically, yeah, this is all you want to do. You want to go into um, a custom match, and you're just going to want to practice shooting bots. Even with the pistol. It's so easy. I mean, and a lot of people are going to say, oh, this feels slow. You can literally beam. Go to head glitch to head glitch. <clears throat> and you'll be having a good time. So, like I said, you left, right, switch target. He's on the head glitch, vertical recoil, but you guys get the point, right? When you're coming around a corner, you never want, you want to always be moving like this. Like have your right stick. Like you want to have a little bit of input. You don't want to always be holding a corner like this with a controller. I just got sniped. And sniping on here is super easy too. Basically you just get close to a target ADS and then you're good but if you guys want to see some more controller gameplay i'm going to be live on this by the time this video goes uh up uh hopefully uh i'll see you guys there we're going to be using a controller today um and just giving more tips and tricks leveling up some guns so uh i'll see you guys over there uh let me know down in the video if you, what you're struggling with and controller and i'll try to uh make a video on uh helping it out but the guys having a controller with back buttons is really going to help you out on this game you need back buttons uh especially to run and jump it just feels a lot better um it just feels amazing okay um also another thing if you guys are wondering why my enemies look this way uh personally i did this setting in black ops um you'll you go to your settings you go to your interface and you come down to color optimization and i actually changed this color to uh a darker red and a really bright uh, red so I can see uh, the dots easier for you you could change it to purple um, it's all personal preference but um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll tell you say bye say I'll catch you another one peace